die. I know that. My brothers know that. You most probably, I'm saying most probably, know that. How can Jesus be God? Because your Bible tells you that Jesus was crucified. Your Bible tells you that Jesus was in the tomb for three days. So if Jesus died, God's supposed to die too. I know it's not, but you telling me that Jesus is God. So if Jesus is God, I want to clarify how Jesus died and God is still alive. That's what we want to know. That's all we want to know as Muslims. Give me five minutes. And then I give you 10, 20 minutes. Go ahead. Because I have to start right Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the Bible tells us, and even the Quran says, five minutes, bro. Jesus, five minutes. Jesus is the word of God. Which means the word of God. The Bible clearly, very clearly tells us Jesus is the word of God. Yes. I do not know what you believe, but if you're here, we believe the same. You're saying that the word is me, right? Again, I can go to a court of law, and if you if they take my recording, and I cannot say, no, that is only my word, that's not me, right? Because my word, in any place in this world, my word is me. That's not It is me. That's according to you. He's interrupted. Give the brother, no. His mother, so it's how not can good. Be God? Give the man a chance, How can Jesus brother? be God? You tell me. You want me to read, read the Surah Maryam for you? <laughs> Leave him. Give him, give him a chance, my brother. He's explaining something. I, I'm just one person. I'm not God. I can't talk to all of you at the same time. Please understand, I'm human. I can't talk to all of you at the same time. Give him a chance. You decide. You want me to answer him? Or do you want me to answer him or you? No, no, you have to answer you. No, no, answer you. Don't worry, my brother. I'm there. I'm there. Don't worry. I'm there. The same thing you're gonna ask. I'm gonna ask the same thing. So I'm on your side. So, so I've got a question for you. Go ahead. Okay. Shall I start again? No, you can go whenever. Jesus is the Word of God. Right? The Word of God is eternal. The Word of God is God. The Word of God is not created. The Word of God, as we spoke before, cannot die. It's not born and is not flesh. Okay. But at some point in time, the Word of God, in addition to being the Word of God, the Word of God is always the Word of God, in addition to being the Word of God, also took on flesh. Took on flesh. And when we say took on flesh, it's taken on a human form. So the Word of God continues to be a human, or to be the Word of God, but He also takes on a human form. That human form lives, breathes, dies, drinks, as this gentleman asked, drinks from his mother's milk, does everything that you and I would do including die and be buried everything except that he didn't get married so he did not have to consummate a marriage other than that he did every single thing like all of us did but that did not say at that no point of time did he cease being the word of God because this was in addition in addition to so now that's Jesus let me finish now Jesus has two natures when you refer to Jesus you have to refer to one of them and ask me the question Jesus the divine nature of Jesus which is a God, which is God, which is always eternal, or the flesh, which is temporal, which was here on earth for some time and did everything like you and me. So now when you're asking me a question, ask me according to one of those two natures. You want me to ask you what you want yeah. me to ask you? No, 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 no. When you're asking me the question, you should ask, when you say, when did Jesus do this? You must ask. I'm asking you, okay. These guys, not saying. What is that? What is that? When God in Genesis 1, when God was going to create a word, he said a word, and that word was he, and it became. In Quran, whenever Allah goes to create something, he says, it's be and it becomes. Yes. So the word of God is be. It's a command. Now, there is his personal opinion. And I respect that a lot. Yes, of course. Now, here what happened. The Trinity is very complex. 
And even an intelligent man like him will wrap himself in bag wires to explain it to you. What he doesn't know is that early Christianity for 100 years did not believe in the Trinity. Trinity was born in Europe when it went to Europe on the constant time. Just a minute, one second. I have to come to you. I've got to come to you too. I'll give you five minutes. Yeah, I've got to come to you also. I am simply saying to him, I'm only saying, I'm going to stop now. The concept of the Trinity will destroy the integrity of a very intelligent man. You could be a science minded to the highest level. You try to justify the Trinity, you'll end up being a fool. Now, the concept, now listen, if a religion. If you want to speak, just speak. Don't whisper in his ears, man. All right, all right, sorry. Sorry, I apologize. Now, what I'm saying today is this. The concept of the Trinity, the concept of a Trinity. If one is arguing a religion, one of the things you have to do is establish two proofs. The originality of that religion in place and time. The origin. Because the original story is always the best story. If something happened here now, and that travel around the world in 10 years' time, 100 years' time, the story changes. If you want to get the originality or the authenticity of a religion, you must go back to the earliest stages of that religion in place and in time and language. Now, Trinity as a concept was not established in the time of Jesus or in the first hundred years of Christianity. Trinity was born in Europe under the father Constantine. So anybody who have adopted the Trinity as a belief, Constantine is your daddy. Just a minute. One second. No, there's a contradiction here. That's all right, all right. You yes. you I'll give you a time. Came three, more than 300 years later. No. You said for 100 years there was no Trinity. Yes. And you're right there. Yes. There's 120 yes. or 100 years. Well, the Christians, I'm going to stop now. I promise you that. The Christians, for the first hundred years of Christianity, who believe in God as one, Jesus being a separate entity, and the Holy Ghost being three separate entities, not all in one, those Christians was called the... No, there's a special name for them. We call it proto foundational Christians. Those Christians did not believe in the Trinity. No, I'm only I'm gonna stop now. I'm only trying to say your version of Christianity only started when it went under Constantine. That's my point. Listen to this. No, 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 I need to respond to him. Oh, okay. Mr. Hagi, I need to respond to him. So uh, he spoke so, about the timer. Yeah. Do you want timer? Yeah, go on. No, go on. I, I'm not going to speak. Let him allow me just to catch him. So he was speaking about the Trinity not being there at the time of Jesus or the first uh, the apostle time. Was there. Very true. The Trinity was not mentioned by word. Thank you very much. It was not there. Not man. just for 100 years. For well, actually, right. 100 years, 30, 140 years. Okay. Okay. The first person was not Constantine. Okay. Because Constantine came over 340 or uh, years later. 331. Okay. It was Tertullian who was, uh, I think, in the year 200, who first proposed the word Trinity. Now, the word Trinity is not found in the Bible, but that doesn't mean the concept does not be in the Bible. The concept is very much in the Bible. Just like the word Tauhi, which you believe in, is not in the Quran, but you still believe in it. So the word, the concept of Tauhi is in the Quran. You believe it. It's not in the Quran. You believe in it. The, the word Trinity is not in the Bible. We believe in it. So don't bring that yardstick because both of these words, Tauhi, but can I correct But is that a so the word now he listen, and you can tell us in this or that okay. it is not in your first sources the same large yardstick that you use for me. It's not in your first sources, therefore we have to reject it. So the same yardstick is fundamental to Islamic belief, but yet it's not mentioned. It's not mentioned in the Quran. Trinity is fundamental to our Christian belief. It was codified a hundred and years later. And so I, I find no problem with this. And why were you supposed to come up with this word of Trinity. You can eliminate the word and you still have it. Okay, because the word of God is living, unlike my word, which was created for somewhere else, it is it's absolute. The word of God is alive. The word of God is living. The word of God is the one that creates. The word of God is all powerful. It's a creator. The word of God is a creator. Now, yeah, the word of God is a creator. The word of God, the word of God, the word of God, Okay, so that's why I was saying, can I, when you ask me a question about Jesus, ask me a question about his divinity, being the word of God which is eternal, which does not die, or the flesh of Jesus who did everything that you and me did. Okay, so I hope I'm clear now. So where does he get this doctrine from? John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the world. In the beginning was the world. 
The word was with God and the word was God. John makes it very clear. Yeah, but this is what the Bible is saying. Yeah. You know what a lot of people do? You know what a lot of people do? Let this guy talk. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Now, go ahead. You see, what a lot of people believe, I think Christian, because we Muslim doesn't believe this. Because what happened is, you believe that God says the word was God and the word was with God and the word is God. So just because Jesus speak and say things, Christian believe that Jesus is also God. But don't forget, we believe as Muslims Jesus also God. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. I'm not talking to you, my brother, because you're not ready to talk. Believe me, I'm not. I'm talking to this man. Yeah. So we Muslim believe that Jesus is a prophet, peace be unto him, as all the other prophets. We don't believe that Jesus creates this, and cre Jesus created the heaven and the earth. And we believe in one God. God has no part. For us Muslim to get to Jannah, for us Muslim to have a salvation, we need to believe that Jesus, that God is one and one only. So going on to this trinity and all of that, we don't believe that. Let me ask the question, who is older, Jesus or Adam? Again, I, I ask you a question. Okay. You keep on giving me. Ask me the question according to, he's given it to you. No, humanity. no, no, no. Which who one? is older, Jesus or Adam? Okay, so let me ask, let me ask. <laughs> According to his divinity, there's no order because God is... My brother, less. no! According... My brother, no! You keep, so on, you me, you keep on, on mentioning God. I ask you a question. He's not letting Who me speak. Who is older, Jesus, He's not letting me speak. Jesus or Adam? According to his divinity, keep on telling me according to his divinity, you keep on telling me according God to is always in existence. My according brother, to his humanity, my brother. <laughs> according to his humanity, Jesus was and born mean, many years, brother, years after. Him him. I ask him a question: Who is older, Jesus or Adam? Oh, ah, I'm the, my brother, I keep on asking the man, but he's telling so the word of God came after Adam. My brother, who is older? Did the word of God come after Adam? That's what you believe. My brother, I did believe. the word of God come after Adam? Did the word of God come after Adam? The word of God was before Adam because Praise God says, Lord. because you will God, become a Christian because, someday. My, no, 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 Jesus, my brother, he's the way, the truth, and the life. The word of God was there before Adam. Yeah. The word of God was there before Adam. Burn you. You will be fire burn you. No, I no. Be a Christian. You, you will need to be. But at one point, of time, uh, the Bible says, I am one saying to you, every knee you will bow and tongue will confess that Jesus is God. No, no, no. We don't go to Jesus to pray. Yeah, we go directly to, to God, God, my brother. You need the word of God. No, you need the word of we, God. we go directly to God. You, you we don't, don't go, go to Jesus. To God. You don't go directly to God. You still have not answered me. I ask you a question. Who is older? Jesus The word of God? Adam. I ask you a question. Who is older? The word of God or Adam? Did, did, I asked you a question, but you're not answering me. I asked you a question. The word, but uh, you can't be, you cannot do a reverse psychology on me. You need to answer me. But you need to answer me psychology. You need to answer me too. Okay, answer me and then I'm going to answer you. Okay, so I'll say both. Who is? I'll say both. Because Jesus had two natures. I said right at the beginning. Said, you know what I said? Sure. Who is older, Jesus or Adam? Both ways. Both ways. You can take it both ways. I can take it both ways. So now let me ask you. Now let me ask you. You can't take it. Is the word of God older? than Adam or not? The word of God is always and will be always that older than Adam. Pertains to me as yes, well. It is. No, the word of God I is older than you, I, yes. is Jesus or Adam? Which one is older? The word of God preceded Adam. Jesus walk among the men. The word of God preceded Jesus, Adam. Jesus was a man. Jesus walk among men. Jesus he was Adam. Adam. Pardon? Jesus was before Adam. I told him that, but he doesn't he want to accept it. Adam. He doesn't want to accept it. God you don't want to accept but, it. But you know what? But at some Sorry point, you come out there and shout. It, I was just talking to this guy. But that's okay. You can help him out. Yeah. Yes. Listen to this. At some point of time, you will have to accept that the word of Adam. God is eternal.
eternal. At some point of time, the word of God took on flesh. After Adam was born, the word of God took on flesh. I'm very loud. I'm very loud. I'm just now, my brother. I'm going to continue not talking to you anymore. My brother, thanks a lot. Yeah, I don't want to go further than that. Yeah, okay. This man already disrespecting me, telling me I'm aggressive. I will speak to you another time. Okay. Sorry.